All right, so on today's Fast Motorsports, me and Jasper are in Sebring, Florida. Say hey, Jasper. And we're going to put the boat in to, uh, it's called Lake Jackson. I've been past it many a time going along the road. Uh, when you're driving by, you can see the lake. And I've never had my boat over here yet because I always go and put it in, you know, over on the coast. That's my favorite area. But I've been seeing this lake and I've been wanting to try it for a while. So uh, I guess we're going to go put in the water today. So stick around and let's see what it's made of. Well, and Jasper's finally out here. This is Lake Jackson, or Jackson Lake, I'll have to look it up. But I've been wanting to bring my boat out, see what this lake's all about. It's about 40 minutes from where the RV is, so uh, I'm not sure what to expect yet. The water looks pretty clean, actually. Cool. All right. To see what's on the lake. Looks like, I mean, it's pretty nice ramps. It was easy to put in. And uh, it's a pretty good bit of area out there to keep, you know, a couple of boats tied up while you go and get your vehicle. The Stingray, tell you what, she has been a good one. We're about to go eat some uh, fish out here on the lake, except it's from <laughs> having these. <laughs> Not fresh off this lake. You ready to go for a ride, Jasper? Let's go. All right, so now we're pulling out away from the dock. And I uh, really don't know much about this lake, so we're doing exploring together, y'all. I have no idea. I hope the heck this is uh, not too shallow. I see a bunch of buoys over here. I'm not 100% sure. One of them said swimming area. I do see, you know, there is a little beach over there. I'm leaving behind at the dock. But there's a bunch of different buoys over here. It's slow, no wake. I see a lot of, uh, I don't know if you can see it, all the growth right out there. I can see the land below it. I don't know. Out here it looks pretty decent. I'm only reading about four. But as we've seen, if you watched other videos, like my Minnesota Key at the boat ramp, <laughs> this thing was off. I was hitting bottom and uh, it said it was about four foot or something or three something. But I do see a boat over here. Uh, you probably can't see it yet. But he's zooming across. I'm going to just wait and see. Where is he going? Because I don't know if they're going to pull in here to the dock on this side of the buoys or, or what they're doing. But And you can see this lake is just a big round circle if you look it up on the map. And uh, so I can see all the way around the whole border, the entire lake. Now we're reading five foot three. And I can pretty much see the bottom still. So at least the water's fairly clean. I see a couple jet skis out here. But yes, again, oh man, that's a nice old, uh, maybe a Chris Craft or something. One of the old wooden boats. Let's see if I can get a picture at least. Yeah, you don't see many of those old wooden boats anymore. But, uh, I guess we're just going to kind of chill right here for a couple minutes. I need to go ahead and put the top up. The sun's kind of getting me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the sun that much. I can handle it for a little while. Yeah, we're up to seven foot. Hey, Jasper. What are you doing, co-captain? This is my co-captain, Jasper. The best. Good boy. Let's break this food out. Sorry for the shaking. 
see I'm zoomed in and I am on the boat. So zoomed in at full zoom trying to see if he was gonna land or not or doing a touch and go or what. I guess he's getting closer to the shore before he actually lands. Yeah, he's pretty far over there, <laughs> but he came in pretty close to the boat when he was in the air here. What are you doing, Jasper? Hmm? Let's go check out the water real quick, Jasper. It says it's uh, 76 degrees, the water temperature, on the little, uh, the GPS has the little sending unit down there, so let's see what she feels like. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, I don't want to necessarily swim in it. I see people over there swimming, but that's still a little cool. I mean, you could swim in it, yeah. Definitely could swim in it. I'm just spoiled. <laughs> don't want to be too cold. I guess if you get up in there and you was kicking around some, get warmed up and used to it. What do you think, Jasper? You want to jump in? Nope. Something might eat you out here. I really don't know what's out here. I'm sure there has to be gators. I mean, they're definitely in the area, so they would <laughs> definitely be in here. <laughs> and not knowing anything about them, it makes you kind of leery and scared of them. <laughs> anything that could come up and bite my foot off. <laughs> so, somewhere over there, there is a little cut through bridge that goes under the highway. You can see the road runs along the uh, bank there. Like, I guess a quarter or more around the lake. It just kind of the road circles it. And that's Highway 17. But somewhere over there, there's a little cut through with another little bitty lake on the other side. I guess I'll just go over and check it out being on such beautiful uh, Sunday afternoon. What do you think, Jasper? We should go over there and check out the little lake. At least it does have uh, some depths on here. We're in uh, four to seven range now, which is showing five, five. So hopefully these charts are pretty accurate. And where we're heading out, we're gonna be in the seven to 10, up to 13 range. What are you doing, Jess? Better be careful, dog. Do not fall in, okay? Whatever you do, don't fall in. Can you do that for me? pretty tricky with the boat rocking and moving and I'm just using a cell phone so uh, anyway what 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 is it boy oh I know all about it tell me tell me tell everybody let them know how is it what's up with today huh what do you think say Jasper guess that talking sessions over wow there is no boat I haven't seen many out here today. I mean, there's been a few come through. Let me get fired up and get out of this area. I'm going in too close. I don't want it to be getting too shallow. Yeah, little Jasper wanted to get up and uh, get some wind in his face. So he jumped up here with me to help me drive. That's what co-captains do, folks. It helps take care of the boat. Don't you, Jasper? And then, uh, of course, here it comes. I just got finished saying I didn't see any boats around. There's only about four or five of them behind me. They're going back over towards the dock, though. What fun. Yeah. I love being on the water. I don't care. <laughs> Big 
explore in different areas. I think I'm going to go through here. This is the little uh, area I was talking about. And uh, now it's got me kind of wondering. <laughs> It's a little shallow over this way. Let's see what is this? This says no weight. Still a five foot. So we're going to go on through, Ooh, getting down, breeze, we're in the breeze, yo, in the threes. So let's see if we can make it, back up to five, come on, ten, woohoo, oh that's like a little dip on the line, on that screen though, let's see what happens now, see we're going back, probably going to get shallow again. I don't know what was up with that little trench deal. Uh-oh, is the top going to make it? Oh, we get close sometimes with the top. I'll be doggone. This one over here looks lower. Now, whether that's an optical illusion or not, this bridge. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, Jasper, oh, no! Yeah. Luckily, that was an uh, illusion. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. A quick look. Oh, yeah. We got it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a foot. Well, it's hard to tell. You can't always tell just looking. What do you think, Jasp? Huh? We made it through. Now we're in whatever this little lake is. I forget the name of it. I'll have to look and maybe I'll put a link in there. Or not a link, but the name. <laughs> yeah. We're six foot. Now, you can see on the screen here, we came out of this lake Jackson and we went under the bridge. Oh, yeah, that was the bridges. Oh, so it's off a little. Something's up. Nah, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, this is the little lake. So, as you can see, it's a little smaller. Tell you what, it is like glass. It's funny because I see another video where somebody came through on their jet ski. I was checking it out ahead of time before I bothered bringing the boat over which I've been driving past the Jackson side on the other side there knowing I would eventually bring the boat just didn't know when but I was coming over this way today to see bring anyway so I said what the heck load the boat up bring it on over <laughs> it ain't that far let's check it out so here we are and it's smooth as glass today I do see like some little beaches, but that must be private on there. Those houses, I guess, on the little beaches there. Pretty nice. Well, now I can say I've been to whatever this lake is when I look it up. We're at 14 foot, 13, 8, 14, yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's still 75 degrees. Now, I'm not sure if this side feeds that one or if there's even a dam on the lake. I really don't know. I need to do a little more info search.
off. The little deck boat thing, old school deck boat with a little two stroke. There was probably nine people or so on it. The little two stroker took off. So we're coming back up on the little bridge. And there's a pretty good breeze blowing, so I'm gonna stay on the throttle just a little. I mean, I'm not trying to make a wait, but. Got a tree fitting in this one. Yeah. <laughs> 21 foot with a V8. So it's got a little squat in the back. <laughs> a good squat, good junk in the trunk. try to head straight through here because of course I don't want to hit over here where the grass is and don't want to come over here where all this grass whatever because uh, you can tell I was not very deep so stay away from that there must be a little channel cut here Slow and steady. Slow and steady. No wake zone anyway. We don't want to be messing with nobody's boat ride today. So now we're going to get out of here and open her up. steady when you go on that fast and it was uh, pretty smooth out today but a boat went by and I was hitting all the wakes yeah windshield is definitely dirty I'll tell you all the water around here spots it up so bad anyway guess we'll uh, hell somebody's out here swimming Good thing, uh, I don't know. They need to watch for boats because boats ain't really going to see them that easy. All right. So we had us a good little uh, ride today around the lake. <coughs> Got to explore and check it out. Jasper, your paws all right? <laughs> yeah, they're good. All right, cool. Yeah, leave that alone. Lake Jackson. 
I guess uh, it's a pretty good thing for the locals around here. Let's get the stingray loaded up. We're going to head on out to Englewood tomorrow, Minnesota Key area, Lemon Bay. So stay tuned for some videos out there in paradise. Have a good one. <laughs> well, that's what Jasper decided to do. I brought him over here to this spare parking lot because there's really no vehicles over here hardly. Figured I'd let him out for a minute to run while I'm putting everything away on the boat and uh, <laughs> go potty or whatever he's going to do. And he decides he wants to come over here and lay in the shade along a uh, block wall there. It's nice and cool. Well, I don't blame you, buddy. I don't blame you. But, uh, he's got water. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I take care of my dog. Let's get the stingray all put away and head on back. <laughs> 